Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe if you don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so this is me just giving a little bit of an update on my channel. Um, why have things really, really slowed down lately with all my uploads and things on my uh, channel? Well, unfortunately, a lot has gone on. Um, 2023 straight off has been quite an extraordinary one already. There's been a lot go on. So it was always quite tender hooks around Christmas, I have to admit. Um, Christmas was amazing, as it always is in my family, and we're truly, truly blessed. Um, I have amazing family, beautiful family, um, and we had a very, very amazing time. But of course, a cloud hanging over my immediate family, and especially for my mum, was that she was having to go in and have major surgery um, in the new year, just in the break of the new year, um, about a week or so afterwards. Um, so mum had to have major surgery, which straight away, I uh, was uh, just the weeks leading up to it was just really trying to concentrate on mum, really trying to make everything really positive, really special, not to be down, not to be gloomy, and for her not to worry about anything, because she had her own things going on, of course, with this surgery coming up, and leading up to it, unfortunately, because of the nature of the surgery, she wasn't very well at all, um, but we kept things positive, and you would have never, ever known, looking at my mum, such a glamorous, incredible, beautiful lady, and um, one of my best friends, and uh, it's it's been tough, it really, really has been tough, I'm very, very close to my mum and my dad, so anything with them um for me in my heart at the parent table was always my mum my dad and my nan sadly i lost my nan on the 31st of may 2021 and it's still very very difficult so my mum having to go through this major surgery it was ripping my heart out it really really was and then the day when it came up to it um me and my father stayed uh at the hospital the whole time while she was there and um it was five hours five hours and um they had to do a lot more surgery than what they thought. But I'm pleased to fast forward now and to report that after they're coming up to five weeks of recovery, um, that she is doing incredibly well. She's had a lot of setbacks in her recovery, but she's doing incredibly well. I and mean, I've had a lot of well wishes on my uh, channel and from my subscribers and people who have viewed some of my clips, I've mentioned that. So from the bottom of my heart to yours, thank you very, very much indeed. Um, with that going on as well, um, I haven't been great, unfortunately. About the last month, a lot of my subscribers will know that uh, I've had a lot of problems with my groin. Um, and my sort of hip area and my leg, and uh, all through hernia related issues and hernia repairs. So just a very, very quick snapshot of what happened to me. November 2017, I had my first uh, hernia repair, which was a femoral hernia. Um, then July 2018, I had an inguinal, or an inguinal, uh, as they call it, um, hernia repair in July 18. Something wasn't quite right, and as soon as from when I had my first hernia operation, I had a very pro prolific bladder issue. So then 2019, um, I was back and forth specialists, having in steroid injections, one thing or another. And then in September of 2020, I had my bladder operation, I had a bladder distension, and I had a few other investigative um, procedures to see what was happening. Um, and then fast forward again uh, of May 2021, I had a groin reconstruction and I had all the mesh taken out and I had a third hernia repair as well and everything taken out because they found that the mesh was actually dislocating. So they left me from a last hernia operation to when I had my groin reconstructed with it dislocating. So it caused me a lot of issues and unfortunately I had the wrong mesh in. It now left me with a lot of issues. It's very tender, it's very sore. Um, and in the last month or so, unfortunately, on top of me having balance issues, September of last year, I was diagnosed with losing. Um, I already, I kind of knew I had a bit of a, a loss of balance anyway, because I fall into it quite a lot and I lose my footing quite a lot. But it was diagnosed that I'd lost a lot of my balance function on my deaf side. I'm deaf on my left ear. Um, and I have sensory profound hearing loss. And I have a slight hearing loss on my right side as well. I also suffer with vertigo really, really badly. And I get that weekly, unfortunately. Um, and I've been having seizures lately, which has been really, really quite difficult to manage. I'm, I'm waiting to see a neurologist. I've been in and out of hospital lots. And I've been falling over last month or so. I fell over around about four times. And last Saturday was the hardest 
honestly, was the hardest I'd ever fallen. I think my leg gave out, and I fell over in the house in our dining room. In our dining room, we have a very, um, we have a large dining room, and it's a wooden floor, and I absolutely just went, and it winded me where I hit the ground, and I couldn't get up. And first of all, I thought I broke my collarbone, but it was very quickly apparent that when I stood up, um, my groin was absolutely burning in my repair of my scar, all the way down to my foot, um, and that's been really, really bad, and um, I've got a job to move still at times of it, um, so I've been back to my original surgeon who done my groin uh, reconstruction, and instead of planning holidays and amazing things coming up for my 30th birthday this year, I've been right back dealing with all of this again, so it's been a lot going on. Um, Turning it on a positive spin because these things are me, they do not define me, I control them, they don't control me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was in a &E because of the fall as well, and um, I was there for quite a few hours, but it, it did, I shouldn't say it really, but the amount of people in there, you can just so see how here in the UK, why the system is so stretched, you really can. But thankfully, they thought I'd fractured my hip and damaged my bladder in the fall, because I've also got, uh, as we mentioned, a very, very prolific overactive bladder and lots of bladder issues as well. Um, yeah, so thankfully, I hadn't fractured my hip at all. It was just a bad fall, and apparently they can see from the test they've done that they can see that I'd fallen hard, and yeah. I really did. <laughs> so let's turn it on a positive spin. I've started my new job, so I got a promotion. So I had two promotions last year. I can't necessarily tell you, unfortunately, but I work in finance and accountancy. Just because of the nature of my industry, I can't necessarily say. So I do apologize. Um, but I had a promotion back in August. And then I got the promotion, which I've just moved into Christmas week. So I've just started that because I had to do a long hand of a period because I've been training some new people in my team. So that's going really, really well. Unfortunately, let's go back a little bit and it's been a bit of a nightmare for about the last month. So in my retail banking career, I spent a lot of time over a five year period. I worked for a, a range of different banks, loved my role. Um, working with customers on uh, in a sort of an office environment, a desk environment. I had the privilege of working at a very, very large branch, a very modern branch. Um, we think it almost looked like a, a Greek temple, to be quite honest, to be outside. Um, a very stunning place to work. Glass marble floors, um, a real beautiful, privileged area to be in. So I'd work with customers in a desk environment, uh, talking to customers about all sorts of things, um, sort of uh, life events, um, sort of insurance requirements, lending requirements, uh, getting people starting their mortgage journeys, and then um, all sorts of things you can well imagine. Really enjoyed my job, loved that. And I also often done a meet and greet role in the branch as well, which I loved. Um, but unfortunately, uh, retail banking has changed so much in recent years, and um, I wanted to change. Uh, so, and that's where I find myself in my career, which I'm in now. Accountancy and finance has always been my thing, and um, love customers, love work, working with people, and um, and yeah, loved that. And uh, here I am in my job now, which I very much enjoy as well. So I spent so much time talking to customers about fraud and fraud prevention and one thing and another, and never ever did I think that I'd be a victim of such fraud. And I've gone through, unfortunately, some pretty bad fraud and quite a lot of money, thousands of pounds worth of fraud, and I've been dealing with that and fraudulent contracts have been taken out in my name and bank accounts and one thing and another, and it has been I'm not sure how it's been able to happen, but it has happened. So that's really got me down. Um, and it's been a lot to deal with, and it's been a lot to get through. But we're getting there now. So the channel, unfortunately, has had to take a bit of a back seat just because of everything going on with health-wise, with my mum's recovery, because, again, on a positive spin, I have loved spending so much time uh, with with my parents and, and just being privileged to be um, one of the main people looking after my mum throughout her recovery and I've been getting involved in absolutely everything and one of my passions I love is cooking. My mum and my nan, her mum, I learnt a lot of where uh, all of my cookery skills come from. Um, my twin brother took a little bit further and he's a chef, an amazing, amazing chef. Um, so yeah, that's been really, really great to do that and looking after the family, of course, I've been doing that. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice, busy, hectic. Unfortunately, I'm still not feeling great. Yes, I've got the visual lines in, by the way. Seeing a lot of positive change here. I had a bit of an arch collapse. That's why I've got them in. Um, that could be from outside sort of issue going on, because bearing in mind, I'm still under the geneticist 
for looking at kind of all of the issues which I've got going on, which they do think are very unusual. They now think they found something, but they're not necessarily sure what they found. And they have told me that there may not necessarily be a name for what they found at the moment. And uh, so it's all a lot up in the air at the moment, a lot going on. Uh, yeah. But you know what? I choose to stay positive. It's hard. Not all the time can I be so positive. But when I'm around people, I am always positive. I'm always upbeat. I always try to find the positive spin on things. Always. Because I think in the darkest of times, light follows. And in the darkest of times, there is always light. Sometimes we just got to look through and look a little bit more thoroughly for it. Um, my faith gets me through as well. Absolutely. It certainly does indeed. So prayer is huge to me and that guides me. The Lord above guides me. He gives me a lot of courage, a lot of strength and a lot of direction. Um, so that's a huge help and that gets me through. Um, and yeah, do you know what? It, it's going to be okay. I'll always be okay, as my nan used to say, bless her heart. And now she watches and guides me from the Lord, uh, from up in the sky um, with the Lord above. And um, yeah, and and why? Because I always think to myself, I am, I, I am privileged in this life. And I don't mean with money or anything like that. I try work hard. But when we can wake up and we can draw back the curtains and we can see a blue sky and we can breathe and we've got our family and I've got my mum and my dad and I've got those around me. And I had all those years to be privileged with my nan, even though now she's in heaven. Do you know what? This life is good. Life is good. And life is far too precious to sit here and for me to complain and for me to drone on about what I want and what I don't want. I've got to get on and do it. I love the saying that a life is like a book. And write yours how you'd like to read it. And I intend mine to be full of travel and experience and me studying. And um, yeah, I'm going back to some more uh, finance qualifications as well shortly too. Um, some continued professional development, you could call it. Um, so yeah, life is good. And you have to be positive and you have to keep going. Um, Manan, an absolutely amazing and inspirational lady. Uh, again, very, very glamorous lady. Uh, my mum and my nan were honestly like sisters. Always in awe of their bond. But my nan taught me four things. So the first one, to keep going. Okay? So m no matter what, get up and just to keep going. Number two, to work hard. Number three, always always think family. Family. Always put your family there. Always look out for family. Always be there for family. And lastly, always, always look your best. So firstly, keep going no matter what. Secondly, secondly, got me here a moment. So secondly, work hard. Number three, family. And lastly, always look your best. It's not always easy. Life isn't easy. And for anybody who says that, you know, why should it be? It's such an incredible thing we have. Why should it be? We all have our down days, but it's up to us what we do with them. Always here. Always here. Leave me a question, leave me a comment if you'd like, and I will do my utmost best to get back to you. Thanks for being here. I hope you've enjoyed my updates. It's not been that positive, but it will be. It certainly will be. Okay, so thanks very much for being here. Until next time, God bless. Take great care and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye for now.